All right, this is just a small update for members of the CrossGuard groups who maybe haven't seen this stuff before. Um, so if you're not a member of the open source group and you're using Profi in particular, I definitely recommend joining it. Um, but I came up with a new idea for CrossGuard, so that's kind of the starting point, but there's actually a lot. Um, some of this is old, if you've seen my other videos on fully responsive um, and stuff that's coming with OS4. Um, so, but uh, one of the things that I've wanted to do, having a CrossGuard in The Force Awakens, um, when Kylo was battling Finn at first, um, they ultimately get into a lockup. Um, so I have localized lockup, but during that lockup, uh, you have these quillions here. Um, Kylo ends up using his quillion to burn Finn's shoulder to get the ultimate advantage to defeat him. Um, so up until now, there hasn't really been a way to do that effect. So um, I came up with this idea. This is a two-stage lockup, and what it does is it allows you to control the lockup on the main blade and the lockup on the quillion separately. Um, so this is just early testing for proof of, proof of concept. This isn't a finished product. But the idea is, is that I can do my lo localized lockup, and then during that lockup at any point, I can actually click a different button and control the, uh, the lockup enabling on the Quillian so that as I'm battling, I get into a position, I can actually turn that Quillian on my opponent and use it um, against them. So um, if you haven't seen before, uh, another big thing coming is going to be the fully responsive effects. Um, so what fully responsive effects are is the, the uh, in OS4 there will actually be the localized lockup and a lot of other effects are actually going to start responding to the angle of the blade as well as the twisting of the uh, of the saber. So, um, so basically um, what I'm going to show here is in the past localized lockup would be an animation for Profi. Um, where you had a little bit of movement on it just to kind of give it that as if you were jostling for position. Now it's actually going to respond in real time to that angle of your blade. So as you lock up with an opponent, um, you can actually change that position. So I'll demonstrate that first. So localized lock up, but as I change the angle of the blade, defensively it slides down, and then as I go towards the opponent, it'll actually go up. And it, it uses the angle of the blade to control its position. Um, so that's fully responsive. So now, in addition to that, um, this is the two-stage lockup. So I'm going to have the fully responsive localized lockup. I'm battling with my opponent. And then I get into a position where I want to use that quillion. And I can actually just click a button and activate a lockup on that quillion. Um, so now, individually, these blades are able to be controlled um, while you're using them. So up until now, you haven't had that ability. Um, so this is something I'm kind of working on. So again, localized lockup. Get that fully responsive as if you're battling, and then to get the ultimate advantage, use that quillion. And all of these can be controlled and set in your style, so you would set which quillion you want it to activate for the second uh, stage, um, as well as how you want the, the localized lockup to move. Um, but that this is brand new. This is something I'm just testing out. Now, just to kind of update again the cross guard group, if you haven't seen it, there's a lot of other effects coming uh, with OS4. Um, so in the color change fork, we had the Force Lightning Block. Um, so now Lightning Block is coming to the main OS in OS4. Um, and actually, I've done a lot of updates to it to include fully responsive controls, as well as update the animation. Um, so with uh, Lightning Block, it's meant to mimic as if you were blocking Lightning, uh, Force Lightning Attack. Now, with fully responsive, if you turn the hilt, it actually changes the intensity level of that lightning. So it just lets you kind of, you'll see it'll get brighter and larger, and then you can actually shrink it down. So it gives you that response control. And then as you move the blade, it actually lets you focus that attack as if you were getting ready to reflect it. So it actually changes the animation based both on the angle of the blade, but also the rotation of your hilt. So you can change up what's happening with that force lightning attack. Um, and obviously, in the films, we haven't had Kylo block a force lightning attack, I know, but, uh, you know, this would be applied to any blade you want. Um, and then another new effect is the ability to use uh, melt. So melt is as, as if you were cutting a surface, um, kind of like Qui-Gon in Episode 1, um, which is where I got the main idea. Um, but that's also coming to the main OS, and this is fully responsive as well. So this will have... Oops. So this actually uses the turning of your hilt to actually heat up the material. So it'll go from kind of an orange to like a yellow, um, as if you were really heating that surface up just by turning your hilt. And actually also increases the intensity of it. So how large that section is, is based on turning the hilt. So the idea is 
as if you were cutting through a material. Um, and again, everything is, you can set your colors and your controls and, and how you want it to work. Um, but all of that stuff is coming. Um, so I just wanted to give, uh, give that quick update on OS4. Um, there's a lot of other features. Um, OS4 is still early in development, so it's not something coming imminently, but uh, Frederick's doing a ton of work on it. I've kind of done the proof of concepts on stuff, um, working with him, um, but there's a lot coming for it. So just wanted to give everybody who's maybe only in these crossguard groups an update. So this is Profi OS. Um, this would be uh, kind of a sneak peek at OS4. Um, and then obviously a NeoPixel blade. So um, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, lots more to come. Um, thanks.